Hello everyone and welcome back to Dime Paints with Mike in what is the Haunted Hallows painting brought to you by The Range. And talking of The Range, I'm going to pay a visit up there on the weekend and see what else they've got up there. Um, this was the last one that I got and it was mainly all the others are sort of like the bigger paintings. So you never know. Um, when I was there last week, they were putting out the... Uh, or the week before, no, it weren't last week because I went to Colchester. It, they were putting out the week, um, the baubles. So, yeah, so let's get into this. I have trimmed this cellophane down a bit. So, um, got some really creepy pumpkins there, look. <laughs> so, this is the exciting bit, guys. We are putting all this lovely sparkly stuff on now. So, we're going to start off with this lovely purple colour. And let's just take a look to reflect on this beautiful, beautiful, shiny colour that we've got here. It's a very, very beautiful um, crystal here. And it looks as if all of these will be crystal, with the exception of the sea. For some apparent reason, they never, ever... Um, crystal that and I'm not too sure why but it is what it is now we are starting with a hat that reminds me of the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland um, if you've ever watched Alice in Wonderland with Johnny Depp or the original if you like you'll see that he wears this very sort of tall top hat thing so um, yeah very very good now we might be spreading out and going all over the place here with this painting um, but I'm going to try and keep it into the block process as best we can. And <coughs> I am starting to, you know, when you cough, but you wheeze, um, you can hear like a, it's like a whistly sound um, when you laugh. Well, I'm starting to laugh and cough, but with a wheeze. Now, in my young years, I did have asthma and I was on one of them. Is it the blue or brown pump thing? And they did say that I would grow out of it, but I was reading like what could be the cause of that. And they say it is asthma and stuff. So I tried to book an appointment on the NHS app thing because we use a, we've got this feature called the NHS app that we can book the appointments onto there. Just have, um, just saves having to ring up and go, can I book an appointment please? Um, well, the... Sorry, I'm just trying to find the four drill here because we got the four one there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, I was not expecting that for number four because number four is quite a dark one. But, wow, <laughs> it's going to have pink in it. So, hot pink for Liz. And, um, yeah, wow, that's interesting. And it came up saying you can only book one appointment at the time. Well, I've got a flu jab coming up. So, um <coughs> um they said um i've got to do that and then book it and then the other day i got an email saying something about um i need to book in my covid top up vaccination thing now you i think you're not allowed to have it um unless you're over 60 but if you've got a health condition um then you can have it or something or if you're at high risk of getting coronavirus then you can have um a refill or something or whether you have to pay for it i don't know the ins and outs can i just say this hat is looking so cool at the moment and i've had this painting on the side for probably about two to three weeks and i just haven't had the time to dive into it until now because with the jack skeleton um that you saw the first episode that was filmed in august and tried to get it up for 10 o'clock but it required some editing and me and edits can take anywhere between six to sometimes nine hours. So it can take six, nine, ten, two, you know, you just don't know how long it's going to take. And it had about four cuts that I needed to do. So, yeah, I'll always watch my videos back. And if there's nothing I really want, to you know, if I talk about something kind of thing, that's not going to fit in with the video, then I'll cut it out and stuff. Um... So yeah, so um, I was booking that and for some reason they can only do, there is, there was a um, pharmacy over here called Christchurch, but I don't know where that is. If I, if I remember rightly, it's up near, you know where the water fountain is in Braintree, 
I think it's just where the water fountain's here. It's down that road as if you're going out of Braintree. So, because um, I remember seeing a Christchurch pharmacy the other day when I walked up there. So, <coughs> if, I've, if I'm up near the fountain end, I tend to just, rather than go back down on myself, I rather that and go up Rifle Hill, I tend to go down past um, that pharmacy and down a place called Godling's Way, which is sort of like a shortcut to Rifle Hill. So it brings you out sort of like the bottom of Rifle Hill. So, yeah, um, so that's what I was doing. And I was like, please say there's one in Whitton because I know where everything is in Whitton. I mean, Whitton is full of charity shops, betting shops and hairdressers, so you can't miss the pharmacy. <laughs> so, yeah, it's um, book one in Whitton. So just got to wait for that to come up. Get that done and out of the way, and then that'll be that. Now we have had, what am I looking for, number five. Here's Johnny Five. <laughs> okay, so number five, I think that's the drill that fell over. I had um, a drill that fell over, and this is part of a diamond painting, um, but it's not a drill you place on, it's like part of a keychain thing, so... What I have to do is miss five out for the minute because I'm going to obviously need some left in there so that I can um, tip them back in today and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so we need number seven, which is this gorgeous. Again, the colour will put you off. Sometimes the colour looks different to what the actual drawers. Please don't think, when I very first got into diamond paint, I thought, oh, no, this is, I've kitted up the wrong colour. It isn't that. It's just a difference from the print. Sometimes I can't get it to look like that colour, but it is the correct drill for that slot, you know. So, yeah, if you can hear rain in the background, I do apologise. Um, we have had five days of rain all day long, or sometimes it's off and on, but... Yeah, it's, um, <coughs> it's, um, been like it for quite, um, some time. And I sort of think, how in the world can, um, rain last that long? And then something's going on, uh, something's going on with Timu because when I checked one of my orders, um, I've started to, get um some more ornament things that i want and this order said that it was still at the factory right um but the order behind that which was the one i ordered after that that came before this one at the factory so got onto live chat to figure out what's going on with it and normally what happens is they'll give you a credit but only after it's been delivered um after the estimated now with Timu, I have noticed they'll give you like a date it's due by it and then they'll change that date. So I always screen capture the date that they very per first put on it because then I can go, well, you've changed that because it didn't say that date. This is the date that it originally said. So be careful with that because they tend to change it to get out of not paying you the four quid. And anyway, so the robot automation thing said we're sorry to announce that your parcel has been submerged something to do with a factory in austria so i thought my packages came from china but it turns out that these packages come from austria um and that's what the delay is and i thought that's that's it can't be right you know how can it be submerged um and submerged means you know covered underwater and stuff so then I checked it this morning, so they issued me a £4 credit, but I can't use it because they keep saying I've got to spend a minimum of £15 all the time. And it's been like that for four days now. I'm quite um, good with that because what I do is I wait until, you know, however long it takes, I will check it every day. And if it keeps doing it, then I just won't place an order. Once you take it off, you'll get another order. So... Because there's thousands of diamond paint companies out there and I'm not prepared to pay £15 every time. No other company has that sort of minimum thing on it. Um, 
And it's such a shame because Timu is one of my like favourite companies to shop with, but I refuse to pay when it is, you know, this ridiculous minimum spend thing all the time. And so, yeah, well, I got the £4 and then I checked it today and it's saying that it's processing at the depot. So, yeah, I'm going to pop to the range on the weekend because it's the weekend that Teddy comes over. And that's my nephew. Um, now, George has gone back to work because apparently his manager's phoned up to say that they're short-staffed and stuff. And he was like, oh, I'll come in then. And obviously, I don't think that's very wise with his leg like that. But he said he's not in much pain. But my concern is, is if he rushes it and starts going back to work again, then... There is a risk the skin could like where it's trying to stick and heal, you know, because the skin will come together to heal. It will pop open again. Now, he did say my mum always phones him at lunchtime and stuff. And he did say that he's getting tingling sensation like pins and needles in his arm. So <coughs> he said that he's in a bit of pain. I do apologise if I keep coughing. Um, I keep um, I've catch I've caught. Um, Teddy's cold that he rang over two weeks ago and every time it's got to the stage where I've got like a dry tickly cough but when I talk within a few sort of like five ten minutes it starts to uh, make me cough while I talk as well so um yeah so where was we so yeah so he's come back to work um now I think he's going to be in pain again but He's probably bored because he just obviously sits on the blow up bed thing, you know, watching TV all day because he can't go to work because of his leg and the doctor signed him off. But if he wants to go back, you know, you can't really. He's not easy to like, you know, say, right, you've got to stay at home because, you know, you need to sort your leg out. But yeah, so we can't force him, but just have to do what we can do in it so but yeah it's um the 2nd of october today that i'm filming this and we only have about three days left until big brother yes so big brother the social experiment is back again so already these colors are absolutely gorgeous aren't they the absolutely fantastic so um i was sitting there last night and i thought oh my god i should have my you know that skeletosaurus led light up but that's in the process of being filmed at the moment so <coughs> so yeah um i'm not going to show you yet because obviously i want to show you on the whip and chat so yeah so that's uh done i've got all me i've put all my halloween films that i want to watch um for movie night each week so i've got things like hocus poker well this week is i've i found it <laughs> linda might laugh but i've never seen it before and it came up as recommendation you know when you you know you're searching for a film and then it goes here's one you might like well it came up with a pig and it looked very similar to the pig from um charlotte's web and it said the burpin pig and i thought oh my days that sounds like a very funny film so i've got i'm gonna add that onto it and um then the week after that i'm gonna watch hocus pocus and then the week after that will be i think it's either the adams family or wednesday because there was a series that me and lazy retired granny watched called wednesday um on netflix and that is really really good and then after that, it might be Hocus Pocus 2. But I always save Spooky Buddies till the 30th, you know, for Halloween night. And I like to get popcorn, cakes, crisps, Coke, um, Pepsi, Sprite, Tango, KFCs, McDonald's. No, I'm joking. But I normally get like... Um, uh, and then I save... Um, spooky buddies for halloween night and i like to get cakes donuts crisps dr pepper uh 
you know, and just have a sort of like movie night for that. Um, and Spooky Buddies is fantastic film. Like they're so, like it's such a good film because there's so many of them. There's there's Space Buddies, Santa Buddies, Snow Buddies, Treasure Buddies, um, Spooky Buddies. You know, so last year I got a bit too much cake and I was distributing it to uh, <laughs> my sister because. Uh, she loves it. She, she's very like, she'll always check the character. Um, she'll have a cake if she really fancies one, but she always checks the packaging for like, how much calories does this use? This, you know, she's very like, you know, always uh, watching what she eats and stuff. And uh, we are a bit concerned because she is looking like she's, not got much weight on her and it's a careful balance you don't want to take too much weight off that it makes you ill and you don't want to take you don't want to <coughs> you don't want to put too much weight on that you're overweight you know so yeah it's uh it, it does make me sort of get a bit concerned and stuff but yeah, she's, um, I wish I could be like that. It's like last night I did spaghetti bolognese and within about an hour, and I eat like a double portion. I can't eat, I'm like, I have to eat twice as much. I don't choose to do that, but it's just, the more I pile on the weight, the more I have to eat. So it's um, quite difficult. And I had that, which was, I did a little bit too much spaghetti, but somehow managed to eat it all. And within about 10, 15 minutes, I was hungry again. And so I did some like Jacob's crackers and stuff. Can I just say, this is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love this painting. It's so crystal, isn't it? So sparkly. So yeah. Um, and then... I was doing, yesterday afternoon, I was doing a bit on my Hogwarts Express. Now, my Hogwarts Express, if any of you, um, Linda will like it. I did tag her in the video, but I don't think she's seen the video yet. But I bought this model of the Hogwarts Express. And as you can see, I've started the engine. I, it is a bit wish-washy because... I like to do the first coat and experiment what I'm working with and then I'll go over and do the next coat. But yeah, it's getting there. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And then um, did that yesterday, got all that done. And then just as I was about to do some diamond painting, it was raining again. And so it looked like a tunnel in here. Um, it was so dark and... I don't like filming with the lights on. I like to work with natural light. So I was like, right, I'm just calling filming for the rest of the evening now. But I've got caught up with a lot of programs that I've missed. Because <coughs> Waterloo Road, they put the episodes on each week. And it was on yesterday, which would have been Monday, I think. No, Tuesday. And they put them on each week. But you can actually watch the whole series on um iPlayer so I've been doing that and I've got like two more episodes to watch because if I watch it through the week it it, it gets a bit too much because you've got EastEnders then you've got that then you've got the news there's like no break in between so um that's my concern with Big Brother is because as soon as you've got Big Brother on you've got the after show straight after then you've got the live stream straight after so you've got like a five hour slot of Big Brother and last year I liked to watch it when it aired, but I'm thinking this year I might have to catch up on iPlayer because that's going to take a lot of time away from, you know, getting on with things that I need to do and stuff. So, yeah, like cooking, housework, diamond painting. So, yeah, that five colour, um, I need to look at getting that because it's tipped out of the tray somehow and I don't know why um so let's do the C see told you it's the typical norm on my channel every single painting there's always something missing you know and it's my own fault <laughs> I can't help thinking that this is like a, a like a whip 
<laughs> with the hat. <laughs> or whether it's like a tassel coming out of his hat. Or like an S shape. So, yeah. So then we want four again. And then I think we'll do this little bat here next and then work on his face here get some of that in because the that is the bit that i really want to see it will be this color here this light blue so that's going to be very fascinating to see how that turns out number two i need a poo i don't really <laughs> <coughs> oh shifting my timbers where's my two gone It's there, look. It was right in front of me. This is so weird because it was right in front of me and I lifted this up to look to the tray underneath. Like, and I, it was right there. Like, what the hell? So, yeah, let's do a bit of this now. Now, I'm just going to sneak over here and do them two sixes there. And just get them done. Because there's a couple of sixes there, which I quite like the look of. <coughs> I can't help thinking, these drills look overly large, don't they? They're not like the standard sort of these drills. Is it me, or do they look... It looks bigger, doesn't it? Or am I seeing a hallucination of something here? But I, I, I could have sworn that looks a lot bigger than that. Let's have a look here. Yeah, they look bigger, look. I'll be blown. And I've just seen that there's a tray broke here, so I'm going to have... There's a crack in that, so I'm going to have to get rid of that one. Which is good for me, because I'm always accumulating diamond paint trays. Like, that's it. That's the question for today, guys. What in the world do you do with all your surplus... <coughs> um, With all your surplus diamond paint trays? Do let us know in the comments. <laughs> So, Roxanne, what do you think of this beautiful sparkly hat that we've just done? It it really feels like it. I'm do like I'm working on a party theme. Um, just how beautiful this has turned out is absolutely gorgeous. And I need to take a look back over the unboxing video, but I'm pretty damn sure that this came with, you know, the little gold um, bracket things, because this is from that company called Art Studio, I believe. So. Yeah, and then after this, I've got to wrap up something that I sold on Vinted. So someone bought one of my books, which I'm super happy about because uh, books are quite a slow seller for me. And um, that sold just as I was watching Doctors. So I love that drama. So, yeah. I actually, working on this back, some part of the Bat Conservation Trust, and working on this back just makes me want to do a bat painting now. I absolutely adore bats. Um, my favourite of all is the Pipistrelle bat. Um, you've got the Pipistrelle, the common. There's a horseshoe bat. Um, but yeah, by far is the Pipistrelle, because my mum's friend, she has a tree, and I don't know what it is, but it just attracts bats. Like you can be standing there and you'll just hear like that the bats just flying by. And you'll see this like big blob thing that looks like probably the size of a tennis ball just fly in the air like really quick. And you're sort of thinking, what is that? And it, yeah, it's a Pippa's Trail bat. So um, they only come out at night apparently. So I love the way they've incorporated like this part here. It's like you've got the purple wings and then you've got that lovely black in there proper halloween colors here black and orange so and they've even this is going to look so funky like all them crystal like for the eyes it's going to be like he's wearing sunglasses <laughs> <coughs> so yeah but oh man i will i just doing this little section i just want to finish the lot now i'm really enjoying this I'm going to done 24 minutes so far. Let's have a weather forecast. Alexa, what's the weather forecast today, please, love? Alexa, what's the weather forecast today? Right now in Braintree, it's 15 degrees Celsius with rain. 
Today's forecast is clouds and showers, with a high of 16 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. Oh, do you know what? I'm definitely going to have um, to buy another one of these. B. Oh, that is this lovely little... Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. That's like a, a deep sea blue um, there. That is beautiful. People, if you know how to get this colour or you know that colour, drop it in the comments because that is absolutely gorgeous. It's like an orca colour. Because I don't think orcas are like... They're, 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 um, their body is like a blacky sort of bluey colour. So, I'm not sure on that. Now, be careful here, because I can just see here, that's a B, but you have got an 8 here. So, this is like a shadow effect that we're doing here. So, we're now going to start to bring this beautiful... Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Random... <coughs> <coughs> say, I wish this cough would go away. Um... It's a uh, involuntary movement, so um, sometimes I can talk and I just have a belch at the same time. <laughs> so yeah. Now this five is beginning is beginning to become a problem because this seems to be cropping up a lot now. So this is where it's gonna start to aggravate me a bit because I'm like I need me five, but I've just had a brief look on my desk and I don't know where they've all fell. Because when I diamond paint, I could have like near enough to four to five kits all kitted up in tray. Uh, sorry, four to five paint ins all kitted up in trays. So I don't just work on the one painting. I've always got paintings on like four or five on the go. So I'll never forget this one time I did a different diamond painting every day. And but back then, what I used to do was I. Did one, pack them away, kit them up. Did the next one, pack them away, kit them up. Take that one back out, kit all back up again. And it got so overwhelming. And I was at the point of like, just like, I've had enough of diamond paint and I don't want to do it anymore. And I took like a week off and then I came back and done it again. But yeah, I'd never do that again. <laughs> that was no, no. But that was when I didn't have many trays at, available. So because I'm, I've probably got near enough, probably about 50 trays now, so I've always got kits coming in, I've always got, you know, more being kitted up, more being de-kitted, so that's what's nice about ordering loads of kits, is you're getting more and more trays. I mean, in an ideal world, I'd like to kit up the full painting from A to B, like if it's got 14 colours, the whole 14 colours, <coughs> you know, so yeah, okay, so at some point we need to do a breaker here because I want to fill up that first. So let's do, oh wow, H. I think that might be a glittery one, which I can't say. Oh yeah, this colour here is a very popular colour. This comes up quite a lot on projects that I work on. So yeah. It's a shame that they don't actually. Let's just have a just gonna have a little sneak peek over the back here. I don't know if they yeah, see this is the problem. They print the semetic, but they don't put the DMC code on, so I can't tell what's what. It's quite annoying. But there we go. So looking at this, I could probably complete this in about I'd say about five, six days, something like that. So but yeah, I've got to remember this time when I go to the range on the weekend, remember that there are paintings that are not in this area because this was nowhere in the diamond painting section. It's always upstairs in Chelmsford. Um, and it's so frustrating, isn't it, when you go to a shop and they've moved the section like you're used to going, you know exactly where the diamond paint section is and then they move it and it's like, oh man, where the hell are they? So, because I didn't, when I first went there, I didn't know that they had a upstairs section. So I was like, okay. So then I went up and that's where they were. So I've got to remember to go over there. 
I always have a look, even though I've mainly bought everyone that's on the shelf, but you never know if they're going to change them or swap them about. Um, because you know them bags that I've done? Well, I have seen that there is a Merry Christmas gingerbread bag, but I very much doubt it that it will be in the shops. I think it probably will be online, if anything, but... Um, I want to order a few bits online because obviously it's too big to carry home. Um, and I also want to actually go to the shop to see what they've got. I need to still try and figure out where the Colchester branch is. Um, it is a shame that it's not in the actual outlet bit that's near Asda. Because that would have been quite good to keep it all like under one. You've got B&M's, you've got range, you know. It would have been really good competition for the shops because that's what happened to farm foods in Whitton. Farm Foods and Iceland are right next door to each other, but they were there for years. And over the last, sort of like last two years, Farm Foods shut up. And I couldn't understand why, because it's always been a very successful shop. It's been their donkey's years. And it, apparently they said it was because there's too much competition. It's like with Iceland, they have stopped the home delivery service because they don't do, there's not enough custom like requesting that service like they haven't got many people that want home delivery so now what you have to do is order it but then it has to come all the way from Tiptree so but what my mum used to do is she used to like go around the shop or getting all her items and then what you could do is ask for a home delivery and they pack it all in the van for you and bring it home the same day so yeah, it is a bit of a shame, but I think Iceland is great because, you know, it's so cheap and everything's like a pound and stuff. So it's really good value for money. And I don't want to, I'm talking about the actual food shop Iceland's, not the country Iceland's. So I don't want to confuse anyone there, but oh my God, like every drill I'm putting on, it's just making this stand out more and more and more. This is absolutely stunning. Look at the colours, people. Oh, wow. This is definitely... Oh, man. Roxanne, seriously. You need to get this. If you come to you... When do you actually... Yeah, it's very soon, isn't it? Because I remember you saying in one of your videos it's somewhere in October. So if you could come by a range, please get it because you will love it. Um, this painting is superb. I absolutely love it. So I need to work on a bit of Oogie Boogie. I'm going to show you in a bit of exclusive um, now with that, if I can grab it quickly. I think it's under my desk here. <coughs> um, yeah. So this is how much I've done on Oogie Boogie. So you see you got the pink skull and that, and then I sort of like gave up on it. And then other paintings come from Timu. And of course I got stuck into them and it's got aborted a bit. So I need to start doing it again so normally i'm very like well prepared and i've got all the videos done for that theme the previous month but i've done a bit of everything so i've done some christmas paintings i've got i would show you an exclusive but i want to keep that um until a little bit until we're in december then we might do an exclusive and stuff i normally do exclusives on live videos but <coughs> trouble is weekends are a nightmare at the moment because if you look a few years ago i used to always sort of like go live perhaps on the weekend or was it a friday or one night of the day and we did regular lives but because obviously the family's got bigger and we see teddy um on the weekends weekends are like the busiest day of the whole week because you've got a house full and stuff it's that sort of like pinch my slot for doing lives, you know, so, um, and then Friday's a problem because Friday's now turning, I used to do my shopping down a Thursday, but it's, um, a bit difficult, so I now do it on a Friday, so that takes up another day, and look guys, we have got, I don't know if you guys can see that, look, we've got the way, we've got two words here, we've got dad and dada, <laughs> I love it when you do a painting and then it just like sp accidentally spells out a word, you know. 
I wonder actually if there's a painting that someone could design that every row is like a different word. You know, like it's in word search. That would be funny. But yeah, so this has turned out absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful, beautiful painting, this one. So this will be your, what are we on now? So Wednesday, so tomorrow you'll have the first issue of the skull. That will be on Wednesday, uh, sorry, Thursday the 3rd of October. That's our premiere video. And then we have, this will probably be Friday the 4th video. So may the 4th be with you, or the 4th be with you, something like that. <laughs> so don't, whatever you do, eat malt loaf. Or, you know, that is it called Serene or Sorian? Um, you know, that gorgeous, gooey, cakey cake thing called Sorian. They are lovely. I love them because they're so squidgy. But don't worry if you do eat them because I have found, like, I eat the whole pack and then I need to go for a shit. Um, which, I'm being serious, it does make you go for a poop. Like, it makes you shit like hell. Um, like, I'm being serious, it makes you shit for Britain. Um <laughs> <laughs> oh man i don't like this that's horrible it's so like light and as you can see you can't really see it because the blue is overpowering that color so okay um room for probably a swap out here but as i say we'll have to wait and see for the final result Obviously, I would recommend if you want to swap a colour, do a few layers first and then think to yourself, right, don't go any further. Because if you fill all that up and then you don't like it, you've got to go sit back there and try and to lift everyone up. It's a lot harder to go back and lift everyone up because you've got to find like a crack like that. I tend to use the corner and just like scoop it and lift it up like this. So but I wouldn't recommend doing the whole area because you've got a lot of plucking to do so if you want to change it do a few rows then make a decision whether you want to do it i think it'll look okay so i'm gonna carry on but yeah this was a really nice price i paid three pounds for this so lovely lovely um thing and i've spent my love to shop voucher um so you'll hear more on that story in another whip and chat um or no it's an unboxing so unboxing so um i don't know when that is i've still got one from bogner regis um that i went in september and i still haven't got around to that because sometimes i'll get a diamond painting and i'll push the other the unboxings back because i really want to get this up and show you guys uh so that you guys can go and get it so i love watching unboxings because you know, if you see it, normally if I see it, I'm like, right, quick, take a photo of that, add it to my Timu basket, you know. Because what you can do on Timu is you can take a photo of a product and then put it in the search bar with the upload thing and it searches for it. Now, if you can't find a product you're looking for, they also do a thing where you can uh, press a button called request an item. And you can take a picture of the item, perhaps you can't find it anywhere um and you take a picture of the item and they see what they can do to get it so yeah but yeah i didn't realize that these come from austria so it actually said your item is submerged in austria so i'll have to have a google of that alexa how far is austria to the united kingdom the United Kingdom is 942 miles from Austria as the crow flies. Alexa, what is the flight time between Austria and, Un and the United Kingdom? From Austria to fly to United Kingdom, it'll take about 2 hours and 20 minutes. Oh, wow. So it's pretty close then. Oh, wow. Well, now you know why you get your team water so quick. <laughs> So let's do one for China then. Alexa, what is the flight time between China and the United Kingdom? 
from China to fly to United Kingdom. It'll take about 10 hours and 47 minutes. Well, that's impressive, isn't it? So that, I think we've just discovered how we get these so quick. But then again, it could be China because it does take roughly a week for Timu. So you never know. It could be... Oh man, I'm so excited to get into these funky glasses. So if we've got time, which I think we will, we've got 40 minutes. So I just want to keep going on this. I want to get this bright pink in as well. I can't wait to get a bit of that done. So, oh, 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 oh yeah. You've got to be careful here because there is actually B and 8 here. So we're going to have to pay close attention. Sometimes they do that and you get so carried away with putting down the dark jewels that you you forget and you you know you've put down the wrong jewel and you're like oh bugger you know <coughs> okay so b i love this color i think it's superb i hope we've got some spares of that because this is gorgeous i don't know what drill it is but please please someone out there must know the answer to this because they need to, this is the problem, is that they don't put the DMC code and if someone likes that colour and they ask, right, what's that colour? I can't give them the answer because they don't tell you on the schematic. They do actually print the code number of your drill pack. So that number that I've just shown you, the four digit one, that corresponds to the packs of drills. So for example, on your, on your drills here, Oogie Boogie has got ZC047. And that number would match the number that's on the top of the painting. So, for example, all the bags for these jewels would have that number on. And then you just go by the number of the packet there. So, which this one has, I don't know why they put it on the back, it's quite annoying. Um, it's probably because they don't have, you know, they can't really put it on the front. But just give it as like a slip. Some of them, they come with like a little cut out slip thing. It's just a lot of, you know, back and forth all the time. Right, let's get a bit of doo 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 number eight, which is this one. I'm going to do a bit of the sideburns here and get some of that sorted out. It's like a sideburn, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so then we've got a bit of D going on. Don't want to go too much over because I'm. My target is trying to sort out the face first and get that all done. Looking splendor. Love me tender, love me so. Are your dreams fulfilled? I was listening to um, a big hunk of love today. <laughs> you know that Elvis Presley song that goes, la la la. It's burning through to my soul. So, yeah. <coughs> I'm just hoping and praying. Teresa, can I have a prayer, please, if you don't mind? Please pray um, for me that there is Christmas paintings on my visit on the weekend to the range. There has to be. I've not bought a single Christmas paint in there yet. The one that I did get, um, which was that fiery Christmas tree, I think I ordered that. I don't remember picking it up in the shop. So there has to be. The, I mean, they were putting out all the Christmas stuff, but they were like decorations. And I am I would love, there's a gold, there's a white train. So online, it was there last year. And of course we ran out of time. And I thought, if I get it now, it's only going to sit there for a year because I don't like to work on paintings once Christmas is over, I'll just store them. Um, I do work perhaps two months early on them uh, towards Christmas. But last year, there was this beautiful, it was like a gold train <coughs> coming through what I describe as Narnia. If you've ever watched the Chronicles of Narnia, but it had like trees and snow. But just the way the actual train was like as if it was covered in snow and do you remember that one that i got on timu and it was so pixelated it was like a train with sand on it it was so pixelated i had to like send it back it was awful awfully um so yeah and then yesterday i saw an advert on facebook again that is a peter rabbit third film 
and apparently they've made, I think it was like something like £371 million pounds in the box office. But then it said something about they had a fifty pound a fifty million pound budget to make the film. So yeah, but apparently this year we're supposed to be getting you know the Polar Express? Well, they've come out with one that's like live action, I think it is. Um and this one is supposed to be called the Christmas uh, the magical quit no the Christmas I can't remember. Alexa, what is the new Polar Express film called? From coming soon.net. The Polar Express 2 is an upcoming sequel to the Christmas favourite, The Polar Express. Yeah, but I think it's called The Magical Express. Alexa, when is The Magical Express due to be released? Magical by Ed Sheeran was released on the No, Alexa, stop. But yeah, it's supposed to be out very soon, apparently, so makes you sort of laugh doesn't it because like a film like Wallace and Gromit that would take probably like four years because they it, they have to like it's like clay models and they move a bit film move a bit film move his arm film move his arm down film move the ball film move Gromit film you know but with something like and that's very similar to Chicken Run Chicken Run is exactly the same um but then like you get films like this that are animated and it only takes like a couple of months to do it and stuff but yeah i don't think we're going to get to the glasses here today guys you always get to it's always the right isn't it you get to the right good bit you want to get started and then it's like time's up <laughs> so i'm very tempted to go over i want to get these glasses done it's actually like his eyes are on fire as well very, very cool. So what I want to do is just take it around there. I think we will have time. What's the time? 47 minutes so far. So... I normally stop, have you noticed I normally stop round about the 50 minute mark or 50 to 55 now. Um, it just allows a few minutes to sort of like wrap up the session and stuff. So. <coughs> One thing I hate is a dry tickly cough and I did take some cough mixture that my mum has for tickly coughs and stuff but. Funny thing was is that I was in the co-op today because I had to drop some parcels off for Vinted and it was right on the shelf and I totally forgot to get it up because obviously I was busy dealing with the parcels, getting them done, you know, so very annoying. Oh, look, getting all the lovely little glasses in now. <coughs> right, that's it. I'm having a bit of my water because this is driving me insane. I do think when you drink water, it just triggers it more. But all last night, I was coughing, coughing, coughing. Like, every time I laid on my back, it started off. So tonight, I'm going to take a glass of water with me to bed. I always, like, years ago, I always used to have, like, a glass of milk when I went to bed or a glass of cold drink. But I don't like to drink because I've got this terrible habit, right? So I keep having a cough, uh, a drink at 11 o'clock after the news what I normally do is when the news is on biscuits tea you know but then I have another tea after that and then I find that I go to bed watch TikTok and then two o'clock in the morning I've got to go to the toilet because I've drank too much you know so I don't really don't want to keep doing that oh my god this is looking so angry looking isn't it oh wow yeah, these are definitely glasses. There's no way these are the eyes because if it was, it would just be one dot, you know, one drill and stuff. But this is absolutely, oh man, this is my favourite to date out of the whole year so far, I think. This is so sparkly. I love these drills. These are my favourites to work on, these sparkly drills. Oh, I'm so happy I got this started today. Super, super happy. 
because it's um I don't think I'll be launching any more than after Oogie Boogie because I haven't seen any. Oh, yes, there's actually a fourth one with the return of Jack Skeleton. Yes, but uh, I'm going to wait for that for a bit because I want to order that once this stupid lock comes off because it's like a game that they play because they put it on, then a few days later it comes off, then it goes on again, then it comes off. And what's really aggravating is before when I've ordered, I, it's come off, I place one item, and then I've had some, I wanted to add something else, and it goes, oh, you've got to pay 15 quid, and the lock's come back on. But the way to do that, to get around that and circumvent that, is once you place the first order, remember that you've got that add-on option. So if, for example, you place an order, and then the lock comes back on, then just add the order onto, press add-on, and then type in the item and do it that way you can still add more items it just goes on to the add-on button but you normally only have about seven hours to add things on so yeah they need to make their mind up keep it on or keep it off because this on and off thing is driving me insane really it's just ridiculous <coughs> so yeah okay so let's do a bit of this, this little f going down here You see the transformation when you put crystals on it just pumps up the colour and makes it so vibrant and sharp and shiny. And yeah, I love working with crystals. I'd like to work with a fairy... Oh, that's a pain because that's on the... They put a drill, but it's right on the edge of the thing. But yeah, I'd like to work with fairy dust. I've I've been checking DAC Club, and they're still normally what I do is because DAC are so expensive. Like you're talking about probably fifty to eighty pound for one painting. I normally only treat myself to a DAC painting like once a year at Christmas time. Um, but everything I want is still out of stock. It's like they're not restocking them. So I don't know what whether I'll get a DAC this year or not. Because it's just ridiculous at the moment. Like, it's been like out of stock for ages. But then I'm sort of thinking, because of the length of time it's been out of stock, are they actually discontinued it? You know, you just have to keep regular checking, I suppose. Because some companies have... <coughs> some companies have a uh, email and you can sign up to it and it'll say alert me when the stock's back in so yeah i don't know on that one but we're coming to the end of this lovely little session that we've done here today and it looks fabulous so yeah So I think this is supposed to be like a, a very deadly poisonous leaf. So, yeah. And I think what we'll do is I just want to quickly whiz round the one because we haven't had the one jewel yet, which is this very sort of dark orangey colour. Just going to quickly do another bat. Just get all that whizzed round because this is mainly like the pumpkin colour that we've got. We've got a pink pumpkin. And we've also got an orange pumpkin, so that reminds me I need to order a pumpkin. Um, order a pumpkin. <laughs> well, I could if I wanted to, but I need to go to Tesco and get a pumpkin. And if I did get a pumpkin, it'd be an indoor pumpkin because I'm not a lover of candles because I always get scared, right? If I turn it, like blow them out, it would like, like relight again. So, but my sister did a good pumpkin. I'll try and find a photo, but she did a pumpkin that said H and J in it, which I thought was a bit strange because it's supposed to be carved into like a pumpkin. I mean, you can carve it into, you know, whatever you wish or desire, but.
but um, that's another song I like, Desire from Years and Years. So the band Years and Years. Um, I think Oli Ax Ollie Alexander left that band. I think he went solo. He sort of founded it and then he's gone solo now. So we don't really... That's the problem with bands is that they're always like breaking up, reuniting and... Yeah, so... And then what's lovely about this is we've got that lovely black classic pipistrelle colour there. So, as I say, there's not much detail on the bats. It's like they're all sort of like one splattered thing. But, yeah, they're gorgeous. They've really done well on this skull. I love, I don't know what it is. I just love skulls always love skulls but there we go we'll leave that there and just put the one two there as well see i can't resist i have to keep going <laughs> but yeah that's it right no more no more <laughs> but oh my days look at that guys isn't that gorgeous <coughs> this is just absolutely stunning isn't it the colors are absolutely beautiful really really beautifully done and i suppose it reminds me as well this bit here looks a bit like um sometimes in america you can get what's called a cookie car and they do have that flame logo bit on the edge like of their car like on the sides like a flame but yeah let's just test that i put if you feel like you put it around the wrong way, just don't put the whole lot on, put like a bit, because as you can see, I'm going to show you. You put it that way, it tears like no tomorrow, you know? Um, but if you put it on, you put it on the correct way, you see it peels off lovely. And yeah, just don't put it on the wrong way because you will end up taking most of the glue off. And really, they should mark that. So what I'm going to do if it's, with this funky gold tape is i'm just gonna what i like to do is put like a a little arrow on it so or like just even a piece of gold tape so that i know that that's the side that it goes up you know but anyway that's been a fabulous session um this will be back probably monday tuesday because i need to alternate them so jack skeleton should be another three sessions and then Oogie Boogie will take mo will probably take over that. And then we're just left with this unless we get any more exciting ones coming up. I haven't ordered no more yet Halloween stuff. So I want to try and get these three projects done first. But thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. The link's in the video if you want to get this for yourself. And uh, you never know, I may have that glow-in-the-dark skeleton that I've been telling you about. Because um, I did a glow-in-the-dark one of these. Um there so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe tap the notification bell so you can be notified as and when a video pops up and always press the big red subscribe button and become part of the diamond painting community and um the channel so um yeah so uh thank you for watching i've said it again right that's it bye <laughs> i keep saying the same thing anyway take care guys and we'll see you next time Bye bye